So in keeping with the retro vintage uh, theme I've been going with, but continuing from my previous video where I was doing the Mando Wave 2, uh, today we're going to focus on the uh, Kenobi Wave. And uh, I really like these. And uh, before I really start, and you know, I've said I don't connect, I don't collect the retro vintage or any kind of, you know, the only vintage I have in my collection is the stuff that I had as a kid. Well, um, I'm blaming Tim at Boss Bounty for this, but uh, he got me all hyped up, and I ended up <laughs> ordering these. So, and I got these in, and uh, neat little sets. They are probably going to stay in their boxes here, but I uh, just thought I'd mention them real quick because I'm not going to do a full-on review of these guys because, like I said, these are probably going to just stay in the box here. But it's nice. I mean, they haven't sent Bosk in the retro vintage yet and uh, kind of nice re-release there of course Boba Fett they've done before and but that's fine and uh, it's nice that they have Dengar and IG-88 and of course I have also pre-ordered uh, 4LOM and Zuckus and it sounds like they're going to do the mistake quote unquote mistake on their cards as well so that would be kind of cool but uh, Tim thanks for making me spend money on those getting me all hyped but okay so back on to these uh these figures here the kenobi wave and uh you know overall i think this is a really good wave um i'm looking at we'll just take a quick look here we'll start with the card backs so we have reva here the third sister and same image on her card back as well uh you have the uh the, ed the edging i know people aren't too thrilled with that and i know why they do it I honestly don't think they needed to do it on, on the, the, the modern figures that they're doing like this. You know, just keep that on, if they could just keep that on, say, like the, uh, you know, the, the ones that are actual retro vintage figures from the line. But, ah, uh, whatever. It is what it is. And uh, I'm only going to look at the card back of this one, and then, uh, because it's pretty much the same on all of them. Yeah. But, you know, decent enough. I mean, it's just what we're used to. I've You know, again... Uh, that's it is what it is so then we have Ned B here and I like the fact you now with him on a card I'm hoping that you know with them making a card back for all of these guys that we will get an actual uh, vintage collection release of these guys and this could be a preview of their cards because if you look at the Vader the Obi-Wan and Reva that we've already gotten from these from the show that they they did use those cards so I mean you know I think we will get there I mean Think about how long it took to get that articulated, uh, that super articulated K2SO, and uh, for in the in the vintage collection line. I mean, they had the five points, the five POA figure out long before that came out, closer to the movie's release. But it took a while for us to get the, a really good TVC version. And uh, but anyway, so Ned B here again. You know, he looks good. This is obviously the biggest one in the wave. And uh, it looks good there. And uh, so, of course, here is Kenobi himself. Again, same card as his TVC release. Uh, definitely the colors on these I haven't mentioned, but I, I do like the coloring for the name tags and stuff that they've picked for each of these. And uh, let's try to do this without making like them all fall over. It's a bit of a reach for me with the phone in the way here. Then we have the Grand Inquisitor. Nice little shot of him. The figure there. And of course the fifth brother. And I think he was my opinion, as much as I like the show, I think he was a little underused. I would have liked to have seen more of him in it. And uh, but again, nice. Color's kind of a complimentary of him. Oh, of course it was going to happen. Oh, that's all right. Fix this real quick. Luckily, these guys stand pretty easy. Although this Reva's kind of like leaning a little bit, but not a big deal. And I got to admit, probably one of the ones I'm really kind of happy to get was this Vader here. Again, matches his uh, TVC release. And I'm going to go pretty in-depth on this figure when I get to them. And when we look at these figures individually. So we can start here with uh, Kenobi himself. 
and uh, the Wandering Jedi. So it's you know they got the outfit pretty good, decent amount of detail on them. Uh, yeah, decent face for I mean just for a, re a vintage kind of look for the characters really good. I like that they did a soft good robe. They're kind of going more later in the line, like something like you would see from the Return of the Jedi wave, which is kind of nice. You know, I think I think honestly the later figures that uh, Kenner did. They were obviously definitely refining their craft and making a lot better figure at the time, so that's really nice. Um, he does have a blaster here, and uh, let me pull it out. Yeah, by, so it tucks in the holster, kind of like uh, the Hoth hand, which is nice. And uh, so he's got, you know, it's a nice little blaster. He will hold it in either hand. The thing is, is I've put it in his off hand like this. It doesn't. He doesn't hold it straight. It's off to a bit of an angle, and I, I preferred him to hold the uh, the lightsaber. So uh, there we go. I just I like to keep it in the holster. It's well in there, and it's covered by the uh, the cape very well. And uh, and his lightsaber, of course, there go with. You know, not like they did with the original figures with it stuck in his arm. They got more like the Bespin Luke or the Luke Jedi, which is nice. I mean, you know, they, they, they did that improvement. Not that I don't like the, old, you know, I mean, geez, when I was a kid, it was like that was the neatest thing. But, you know, this way they can, they don't have to constantly have the lightsaber, which is nice. And then, uh, so here's Ned B. Again, he's like the biggest figure. And I think they really did a good job. There's a decent amount of detail on him for a retro vintage figure. Paint apps are good. Uh, he's, you know, good size. I mean, just look at that detail. And at the hammer, which is kind of cool. And uh, so, again, yeah, I would love a modern version of this guy. I think that'll be a, a great figure down the road. And uh, so we'll start here with, actually, we'll start with the Grand Inquisitor as I came. So again, so unlike the Kenobi and the Vader here, he's got a uh, vinyl cape. And it was kind of neat about this one, if you look on the back here, as it kind of loops down like that. So you kind of see this detailing on his back. Decent. Decent paint apps on him. The ears kind of look a little off on mine, but eh, it's, not, it's not a really a complaint. So he's, uh, it took me a while to get this in his hand though. So he holds it very well. And it's weird, it's, it's like got a flat side and a rounded side. Well, I kind of like to keep the rounded side out and have it looped around like that because, yeah, I think it looks pretty good like that. But yeah, he's a, you know, good figure there. You know, it's lovely. And then, uh, We'll start here with the fifth brother. Again, you know, decent figure. Got some nice detail and paint apps on him. The belt looks really good. And uh, so he's got an Imperial signa, uh, insignia there. And then uh, he's got it on both sides of his arms. Helmet's kind of cool. Decent paint apps around the back there. Again, he's got that same double bladed full circle saber as Grand Inquisitor. Very nice figure. So he looks good there. And now we'll do a Riva here. And uh, so she's only got the half circle one. But, you know, again, same thing. It's like flat on one side, round on the other. I like to have the round side out. Just kind of looks better. But uh, decent looking figure. Got the vinyl cape. Kind of a more traditional Look at the vinyl cape, and uh, she's got an imperial insignia only on the one side. But again, nice color and looks good. You know, really good figure. And uh, this one is definitely villain heavy. I mean, although you know, with, with if you've watched the show with uh, Reva's ending, maybe not. So this one here is the kind of the stand out of the way for me, and this is. This Vader. I mean, he, as you would think, you know, Vader was one of the original Kenner figures. And I actually, to further comparison, I'm going to, after I look at this, I'm going to compare him um, with my original Vader here.
but you got this nice soft good so this is like the the Darth Vader we got originally from 1978 was the same Vader you got on different cards throughout the entire Kenner run and not, not a complaint just an observation but if you thought about you know maybe if like down the line they thought about updating Vader I think this is the way they would have done it and it's just really cool I mean you, the, you know the helmet's good but you got the soft good cape and they kind of updated the leg so it looks like he's got robes around his leg you know the the because he's got the robes here coming down so they sculpted that in and it looks really good again you got the uh, removable lightsaber you know instead of having it in his arm again so but yeah just awesome detail on him and like I said the cloth cape really does it for me on this you know it's just a nice nice improvement on the vintage so I mean like so, like I said here so so here's what you got we got in 78 here let me put this guy down for a second and uh, so again yeah so you have not as much paint as but that's you know I'm like I said this is just and again no kind of showing the scrippies it's just basically the the ribbed suit the boots and on the vinyl cape which is you know dude, it's still really good on mine and then of course the lightsaber in his arm which you, know, you pull back so yeah that's that's great I mean, this is you know this is my childhood Darth Vader he's in great you know great condition you know basically the enforcer of the Empire the Dark Lord you know just awesome figure so you know but I mean like I said if Kenner was gonna do an improved Vader I would think he would look more like this and like say they were gonna my dream when I was a kid was like they'd make one with a removable helmet and if they did you know but obviously this one doesn't but I mean that would have been a nice way to improve the Vader is to make him look more like this so I mean that's just fantastic I mean I just like I said this one for me is kind of the standout in the wave um, him and the Obi-Wan I think they they complement each other very well so yeah, yeah I see your Schwartz is just as big as mine and uh, <laughs> but again I mean I do like these and uh, they did a really good job and uh, again yeah this, but you know it'd be the the, definitely the Obi-Wan and the Vader are the standouts of the way for me. I mean, they're all good figures, don't get me wrong. But, I mean, they just these guys are just a little a little above the rest there. And so these are great figures. But that should do it for this uh, video. Um, we made it this far. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you are already one of my subscribers, thank you so much. I I'll greatly appreciate it, as always. You guys are awesome. Um, if you're not a subscriber, uh, please consider hitting the subscribe button. We'd love to have you part of the channel. Um, leave a like if you're so inclined. Um, that's always, you know, help the, help the video out a bit. Leave a comment below. Let me tell me what you think. Cause it's, you know, I'm, I just, I do really like feedback, feedback, or I just want to hear your opinion. What do you like about these? What you don't like? Um, all's fair game. Just, you know, keep it respectful. And, uh, other than that. But that should do it for now. Until next time, may the Force be with you. Remember, the Force will be with you. Always. The Force will be with you.